Ja, ähm, obviously, äh, it, uh, het een baie lekker tijd gehad, laatst week in Jersey. Um, uh, Mensen het ons met open arms ingeneem. Uh, het was lekker om weer als een groep bij elkaar te, we- te komen na uh, vier weken weg van elkaar af. Ik um, denk die hele week het baie goed verloop. Ons het lekker bij elkaar ko- gekomen, oefening was goed geweest. Um, en ja, het was net uh, goed geweest weer, weer om, om, om te bond in die, die, die span bij elkaar te krijgen. Ja, ik denk die week in Schotland, um, ja, ons, ons weet wat ze dynamische spannen is. Um, daar is steeds vooral oor die, oor die, oor die veld. So, uh, ja, ons, ons, ons is def, definitief baie excited voor die wedstrijd en ons weet het, het, is, uh, het gaan een groot een wees. Ik denk van mijn kant, dat was, uh, ja, was fantastisch om in, om in Jersey aan te komen. Ik denk niemand was al voor in in Jersey nie, so, uh, is iets niet een hele andere plek om een beetje bij te oefen. Uh, maar ik denk ook uh, die verwelkoming was ongelooflijk. Uh, er was about net 100.000 mensen wat, wat in Jersey blij en ik denk was een hele paar zuid Afrikaners, so dat is raar gelijk om daar aan te komen. Um, Ongelooflijke faciliteiten, die hele week was, was fantastisch gereel. Um, ik denk dat het raar een goede week achter de rug, goede oefeningen, goede voorbereiding. En um, ja, ik denk uh, ons het een hele paar nieuwe dingen ook geleerd over, over Jersey, net die eiland zelf. Um, maar ja, ik denk als we kijken naar voren toe, ik denk het was, zoals ik zei, een goede, goede prepweek. En ik uh, denk voor hierdie Scotland werk wat nou voorkom is, was het raarig nodig. Ik denk uh, ons het condities, goede condities gehad om, te, om een beetje voor te bereiden voor, voor wat, wat ons kan verwachten. En, uh, ja, ik denk hier hier werkt in Schotland en in Norwegen in Schotland gaan gaan voor ons een paar nieuwe challenges geven. Ik denk dat het uh, alles ook een span wat bij bij van andere het um, die laatste jaar en uh, ja, ons zien zien uit wat uh, wat in Norwegen voor ons brengt. Maar ja, het was raarig raarig een goede tijd tot dusver. Ja, Pia. Wie is dat van Schotland? Speaking of this, a question for both of you. How well prepared have you been by that week in Jersey? Because Scotland obviously played a pretty strong team against Fiji, so they've played a whole test match. You guys have been doing what in Jersey? Heavy training or light training or what? Yeah, the, I think it, we had uh, four days of training, so um, I think it was, was good preparation for us. Um, I think it was important for us to get that, that few days uh, under the belt. Um, for test week starting the, today. Um, so yeah, I, I think we, we are very happy with what we got out uh, out of the week in Jersey. Um, but yeah, uh, today it's test week start and then it all focuses on, on, on Sunday. You know, the, the Scotland team, well, some of the Scotland team better than you maybe did a few years ago because you played against Glasgow and Edinburgh. What do you expect from them? Yeah, I know. Uh, if you look at uh, a team like Glasgow, the way they've grown uh, the last two three years um, uh, you know it's they they their forward pack is 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 um, physical versatile um, so we I think we we expecting uh, an onslaught f- onslaught from them um, and we're gonna have to be uh, ready to, to match that yeah. yep from Scotland um, thank you you've recently moved from coaching how have you found this transition yeah well uh that's fantastic being here in scotland uh, love this place uh even when i played played for ulster i tend to come over just uh, just on holiday if we if we had a break so I, I really enjoy this place um yeah the transition has actually been been interesting uh i actually thought there it would have been a whole different thing being a little bit closer it's still to the players and difficult more difficult to start in with the with the coaches but uh yeah, it's been a different actually completely the other way around um it was a fantastic welcoming by the by the coaches and the coaching staff and um i started in quite quickly and and you learn quite a lot and you learn quickly um but also then you know you, you're not a player but you still know still know the players but yeah I, I'm really enjoying my time, um, learning on the trot, learning every game, and uh, it's been a it's, it's been a year since retirement. So um, 
and 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 in the mix with the with the Springboks and yeah, I, I love love every every minute of it and hopefully you can you can you can keep growing as a as a young coach uh, uh, going into the game and uh, in, you know, looking further ahead into the future. Gregor Townsend said after the, the Scotland Fiji game that he felt the staff game would be perhaps more open than previous matches between the sides. I think the changes to the coaching staff have maybe opened up to that a little bit, a bit more adventurous perhaps. Would you agree with that? Well, maybe, maybe in a sense, if you, if, if you look at the game, how we, how, how we changed, uh, obviously Scotland changed also quite, quite, a, quite a bit. So, um, you know, we, we got in different coaches. We got in Tony Brown, we got in Jerry Flannery, it brings a different flavor to, to the game. And uh, they, uh, they both bring their, their own attributes to, to the squad and, and their own strengths. So I think we, we're also developing as a, as a team and it's not always the same, the same picture that you, will, that you will get from the past, past couple of seasons. So um, we're also in a, in a bit of a transition and I think it's the same with, with the Scottish team. Um, you know, if you look at look back, it was if you look at a Scotland team, they they always tend to run, run the ball, and um, I'm not saying they're not doing that, but you know the tactical game has, has has been a bit of a focus for them, and I think that's that's the thing they they really worked on, um, and they're doing it well. So everyone's everyone's striving to to get the complete game, and uh, yeah, you know, if you if you get the right guys in, and hopefully you. You know you can su succeed. Dwayne, is this Scotland team then a better one than South Africa faced the World Cup? Well, possibly. Um, I, I can't tell you that. Only only Sunday will tell. Um, but you know they they definitely you know they're definitely going to be up for it. It's 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 home it's a home match and it's. Uh, it's home ground in front of their people. It's not playing in a, in a neutral stadium. Um, so obviously you, you you would like to be up for it um, when you when you play at home and you know you you've got that pride in uh, within you. So um, obviously there's a couple of couple of guys that got into the, uh, that got brought into the squad and they've been um, they've been playing well and obviously at at their franchise level. Um, you know, if you look look back at last year's champions, it's 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 uh, it's it's Glasgow. So it's uh, they're definitely doing something right um, over here in Scotland. And uh, yeah, we we need to we need to be wary of um, you know what we're going to get on Sunday. Right, just the balance. I mean, both teams, and you know, you just put even before the last World Cup, you know, identifying uh, little pockets of games to experiment a bit and try something different. Balancing that with the need for results, where would you say this team is? What space they're in now, uh, heading into these three games? Just you know, off the squad, off the, the selection of the squad, it looked like it was pretty settled and you know very serious, and not too much room there for you know trying new things. But how would you say the, the, that balance between results and experimenting where you are now? Well, we we actually experiment quite a quite a bit. Um, I think if you look at Ruan, he wasn't even he wasn't in, even in the mix in the beginning of the year, and uh, obviously lost out on a couple of locks, and you now we we had to look elsewhere, and obviously he played he played really well, um, but I think out of a squad of what, what was it, Zia, 40, 40, 45 guys, we we almost used yeah, we all, I think we used forty or thirty nine out of out of forty five guys, so. You know, we we did experiment quite a lot, um, gave guys the opportunity and to see where they are um, during the year, and uh, give guys a little bit of a taste of of international rugby and and to see where they are um, in their in their rugby journey. So, I think um, I think the coaches kind of you know got a got a got a package or got a view of what what guys can do and who's who's still not still not there yet. So. Um, you know, there's still, if you look looking looking forward, there's still a there's still a long journey to go to the next World Cup, and yeah, we 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 also busy building and and getting the right guys in in the right spots to, you know, to to get your perfect team at at the end of the day. Roy, can you talk a bit about uh, taking your chance? And I mean, you know, the way it came for you and on the international stage, and just everything you've done since. Um, 
you know, what was that like for you? The, the lock is the one position where, as we've spoken about, you know, it was so well stocked for so long um, in South African rugby, and then, um, you know, here you are, um, having taken all of the chances, your mindset just in terms of how you've done that. Yeah, I know, <clears throat> obviously, South Africa is a, it's a place where, where locks are breed, so <clears throat> I always knew, I always know it's, it's, it's a tough position to be in, but look, that's, a, that's an awesome challenge and uh, it's, it's, it's obviously something I've been dream, dreaming of since a boy. Um, and in my wildest dreams, I wouldn't even thought I would be here where, where I am today. But that just shows you um, uh, hard work can, 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 can pay off. And, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm just privileged to be where I am. Um, and it's just, I was just blessed with opportunities to be in this position. Um, and yeah, for me, it's all, all about um, every opportunity I have to, to wear, wear the Springbok jersey. Um, I have to wear it as if it's my last time because um, we know any, there's, there's so much quality players and then any, any time can be your last time. So I think for me, it's, it's just embracing each opportunity I have um, and yeah, just all about representing my country and, and enjoying representing them. Yeah. Uh, Dwayne, can you, can you talk to us a little bit about the number eight uh, uh, replacing the, the you know, there was Damien who went down to the number eight replaces him. 